Hello everyone, welcome to IITM student community. So today I'm going to show you about internship and placement for BS degree in data science and applications. IIT Madras is pleased to invite students and companies to participate in the on-campus placement drive scheduled for 22nd to 24th of May 2023. This drive presents a great opportunity for companies to hire talented and skilled individuals and for students to secure promising job opportunities. This placement will be held at the IIT Madras campus, providing a convenient and accessible location for all participants. Companies will have the chance to interact with a diverse pool of students from various fields of study, including engineering, sciences, and management, pursuing IITM BS degree in data science and applications. The placement drive is designed to provide a seamless and efficient hiring process for companies and students alike. The internship and placement cell will support both companies and students throughout the process, ensuring that all parties can make the most of this opportunity. These are the list of our recruiters, so you can just like have a look at it. So now I'm going to show you the Industry Academy interaction. You can just have a look at it too. Now let's go through the internship and placement process. I'll just explain this for you. The first step is eligibility. This is where candidates should have completed at least one diploma, followed by fill pre-registration form. This is where students have to register for IIT Madras BS degree placement process and then make the payment. All eligible students will be invited through an email to make the payment and complete pre-registration process. After payment comes the training. This is where students have to undergo the required training prescribed by IIT Madras BS degree industry interaction cell. Students who have undergone similar training previously may choose to directly go to the evaluation step. After training, we have evaluation. This is where only students who score the minimum cutoff will be eligible to perform the final registration. Those who do not meet this criteria will have to undergo the relevant training modules and get re-evaluated. After which, there will be fill final registration form. This is where students have to provide the complete information along with their resume within the prescribed deadline. After which, we have stage 7, that is of sharing job descriptions. A form will be circulated to all the registered and eligible students along with their job descriptions from the company. Students may choose to apply based on their preferences. Then we have stage 8 of interview scheduling. This is where once the company shares the list of shortlisted candidates, the internship and placement cell will coordinate the recruitment process with the company. After which we have the final selection and announcement. The list of the students receiving the final offer will be shared with all the registered students by the internship and placement cell. So that's it for placement and internship process. Now we are going to look at some frequently asked questions that I will answer for you. Our question one is, what is the eligibility criteria to apply for internship? Students who are exclusively pursuing the IITM BS degree and are, are not already in a full-time job are eligible to register. Students should have completed at least four courses plus two projects in the diploma level and enrolled to complete at least one diploma at the end of the term in which they are applying. Registration fees of 1800 including GST has to be paid as part of the pre-registration process. Students have to fulfill training requirements and successfully clear the evaluation before they can apply for internship opportunities. Students will be allowed to undertake internship opportunities only after they complete at least one diploma. Students with both diplomas may be given preference by the companies. Students applying for internship opportunities should be available full-time to take up any internship offer without other time commitments such as on-campus degree, internship, etc. They can continue with the BS program. Our second question is what is the eligibility criteria to apply for placement? Placement opportunities are available as part of the following exit options. Single diploma exit, both diplomas exit, BSc, BS degree exit. 
Students applying for placement opportunities should be available full time to take up job offers without other time commitments such as on campus daily, internship, etc. Students should be enrolled to complete at least one diploma at the end of the term in which they are applying. Registration fees of Rs 2400 including GST has to be paid as part of the pre-registration process. Students have to fulfill training requirements and successfully clear the evaluation before they can apply for job opportunities. Students who have registered earlier for internship and cleared the assessment need to pay the registration fees of Rs 2400 only and not required to retake the training and assessments. The validity of payment is one year. Students will be allowed to undertake job opportunities only after they complete at least one diploma. Our question 3 is, what is the training and placement process? I explained this process earlier, so I will not go through this again. Let's move on to our question 4. What time of the year is the recruitment process? Internship opportunities are offered throughout the year. Placement drives are conducted three times a year. That is May, September and Jan. How long is an internship for? Will I be paid for my internship? Why do I need an internship? Internships offer an opportunity for students to get real-world exposures. Internships range from 3 to 6 months duration. Stipends will be paid to internships based on each company's policy. Here is our question 6. What is the 8-month apprenticeship program and eligibility requirements for it? The apprenticeship program is where the student works full-time in a company for 8 months and get 12 credits for it. It is only for students who are at the BS level in the program. Question 7. Is there placement support for direct diploma students? Yes, that students are eligible for placement support. Let's move to our question 8. Can students apply for both internship and placement support? Students can apply for internship in one term and subsequently for placement in another term. Question 9. Are there any possibilities of getting PPO from companies if we get internship through IITM BS training and placement cell? Students who do well in internships and apprenticeships may get pre-placement offers from the respective companies where they are doing their internship and apprenticeships. Here is our question 10. What is the policy on placement assistance for working professionals, mid-career professionals, those transitioning into data science enrolled in the IITM BS degree program? All students, including freshers and experienced, are eligible for placement support. Companies which come for recruitment have requirements for both freshers and experienced candidates. Our question 11. What is the stipend paid for internships? Stipends offered are in the range of 15,000 to 40,000 per month for internships. Question 12. What is the minimum CGPA required to sit for internships and placements? CGPA requirements depends on the recruiting company hiring policies. It is advisable to maintain a CGPA of 8 and above in the program. Our question 13. Which companies have come till now for campus recruitment? Here I have highlighted the list of the companies that have come for campus recruitment. So you can just have a look at it. And now we are done with the frequently asked questions about IIC. IIC stands for Industry Interaction Cell. Host I, about IIC. IIC stands for Industry Interaction Cell that hosts the internship and placement cell for IITM BS degree program. We aim to provide the best and diverse opportunities for our students. For more details, you may reach the team at IIC at study.iitm.act.in. So, see you next time in the next video. Bye bye.